Hey everybody, welcome to Digital Media Essentials. Today we're going to dive into Adobe Illustrator. And we're going to start out by using how to, by learning how to use the pen tool. Okay, so your first assignment is this one called Illustrator Pen Tracing 1 Birds. So we'll go here, we will click on this to download. And then once that downloads, then just click this little arrow to show in Finder. Okay, so it looks like that. Right click on that and let's go open with Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so I've already opened it over here. I've zoomed in quite a bit, but it uh, looks like this. So for this assignment, you need to trace at least three of these birds. You can choose any three that you want. Some of them are easier than others. Probably this guy right now. One of those two is probably the easiest, or if you're up for a challenge, go for this one here. So we're going to use the pen tool to trace these. So the first thing you need to do is make a new layer. So I've already done one. You see this is the result of my tracing. Uh, so let's click right here, create new layer. And then we'll get started. Okay, I'm going to select the pen tool right here. And over here, I want to choose what color I want to trace with. So I would not do black since they're already black. We want something that you can tell your own work from, I mean, so you can see what you're doing. So let's double click on this. Let's do one that's whatever color that is. Sure. Okay, and then I'm also going to turn down the opacity so that I can see through the what I'm doing. All right, so 55 should be good. Uh, if you have a stroke color, I would just click on this and click no stroke. So it should look something like that. This is your fill color. That's what is inside of your tracing. Stroke color we're not using for this one. All right. So make sure I've got my new layer selected. And let's just do this bird right here. So first I'm going to zoom in a lot closer. Uh, I could go over here and hit the zoom tool. Or I can hit space. Space button turns my cursor into a hand. Space and command turns it into a zoom magnifying glass. If I hit space, command, and minus, now it's a minus, or not minus, option space command option is minus so it makes it pretty easy to zoom in and out okay so let's start at the beak here I'm going to click right there and and I'm also going to drag so I clicked and dragged and notice how these little handles come out when I do that I want to point the handle in the direction that I'm going here okay so now it knows that I'm going that way and I'm going to go right here about to the head. I'm going to click and drag there too. So some more handles are coming out. So every time that I click I'm also going to drag. If I don't drag then those handles won't show up. Then let's go right here around the head. Click and drag there. And remember you want to point it in the direction you want it to go. And notice how it's starting to fill in and it does not look like it's uh, reducing the transparency. We'll fix that later. Okay, um, now here in the corner I'm going to click and drag. And notice how the handles kind of move together. So I want it to turn, but I don't want the neck to get bent there either. So I'm just going to click out this way. And now with this handle, since I want more of a a right angle. See how it's trying to bend too much? So before I click anywhere new, I'm going to hold the Option key. And see when I hit Option, my it changes from a pen into like a pointer thing. So with holding Option, I'm going to hover over this handle and click that. And now I can move just that handle by itself and point it in the direction I want to go. And now I can Go all the way out here, click and drag there, then go out to the point, click and drag, and again, 
it's trying to it yeah it's trying to make it all rounded so I don't want it rounded there I want it to go out like this so the wing stays flat I'll let go and then I'll hold I'll hold option click on the point of that handle and bring it the new direction I want it to go and now I can let go of option click and drag click here and drag and this is another one where I, I want it to uh, go back the other direction so let's alt click there and I'm just gonna make my way around this whole bird and any time that it changes direction like that I just hold alt and then drag the handle the, the right direction that I want it to go okay so I will finish this and fast forward it alright so at this point uh, I can't see what I'm doing anymore because it's filled in the outline so let's uh... how do I even stop this? enter? There. I hit enter and it'll just keep what I've got so far. So let's select this thing and let's... So I go to the arrow, I click on it. Now if I reduce the transparency, there we go. So now let's go back to the pen tool. Um, how do I add a new... Oh, okay, so I just click on the last one and it continues. Let's go something like that. Out here. Okay. Then when I finally connect with the last one, it closes it off. And there we go. Now, I can see here a few things that I want to change. So once you've got the basic shape, then you can go in and fine tune it. So like here, it's a little weird right there it's too much of a bend so I'm going to go here to my direct selection tool this is the white arrow and now I can click on one uh, one point at a time and adjust its own uh, its own little handle things let's zoom in more so we can see it better okay so I've got this point selected and now I can adjust that handle and I can now this one, see how it's still moving both handles? I don't want it to move both, I just want to move one. So I'm going to do the same thing, hold Option while I adjust this one. There we go. That looks better. This point, move that a little bit. And let's zoom in here. What's going on with this? Okay, that's a little weird. Let's fix that. Okay, thing that's looking pretty good. Oh, here's one. This is where we, we left off when we had to change the opacity. So let's fix this one. There we go. Now I can zoom out. And let's uh sorry. <laughs> Select that whole thing, bring the opacity back up to 100. Now I can turn off the bottom layer and we'll just have my my traced bird. So, once you've done 3 of those, oops. So I have two, so I'd want to do one more on its own layer. Then just turn off this layer and then go File. Uh, I would save it first as an Illustrator file. Bird Vector Trace, sure, save that. Okay, but this is not what you're going to upload to Canvas. So after you've saved it, then go File, Export. Uh, I don't know, Export as jpeg and put your name on it and 
there you go. And you can find that file and upload it to Canvas. And you should be done. So good luck. We'll uh, see you next time.